So what about this, guys? What about this? What about this? Okay, so Bernie endorsed Joe. Okay, we know he was going to do that eventually. Okay, get over it. Uh, I know it's a hard one to get over, but let's just try to move quickly through this. Okay, so, you know, I'm thinking there's two paths, the neoliberal vote for Joe Biden, or the third party vote, or, you know, the non-vote, you know, and I'm thinking here, what about this? I'm proposing something here. Whether we like Joe Biden or not, we should vote for Joe Biden for one reason and one reason only, not because we share ideals with him, not because we like him, not because we let rapists off the hook, not because of any of those things, but because the only legitimate vote there is for Joe Biden would be one to remove Donald Trump. Let me elaborate. No third party is going to win. No third party in literal American history has ever won the executive branch in any election, period. Those are facts. They're going to help us here. Okay, whether, and listen, I, I'm Green Party. I, I, I like the Green Party. Uh, I was planning on voting for the Green Party. Uh, but here's the thing. Let's vote for Joe Biden and immediately, immediately after voting for Joe Biden, we pick up where we left off. Where did we leave off, Dave? Well, let me explain. We have been building a progressive coalition for five years. It is strong. It is vast, but not vast enough where it's going to matter if we vote for a third party. It's not going to beat it. It's not going to beat Trump. It just won't happen. So, with that being objectively our reality, we vote for Joe Biden, even though we don't want to. I don't want to. I'm not saying I want to, because I do not. But the only valid point to vote for Joe Biden would be our best chance to get Donald Trump out of office. And now I know this is the 2016 playbook all over again. I know that. I know that. And as sad as that is, it's our best shot in beating Trump because no third party right now, as of right now, is going to beat Donald Trump. It, it, that's just how it is, guys. I, I, I I adore the integrity vote. I I, I adore dissent. Uh, I, I, I love these things. I honor these things. But the reality is, they're not going to beat Trump. Okay? And we have to beat Trump. We have to get this guy out. I don't care who you are. You know for a fact this guy is a disaster. We're going through an unprecedented time where they don't even, his administration doesn't, barely believes in science. You know, we have, we have a whole new set of problems uh, with the COVID-19 COVID situation we're in right now. Whole new set of problems. Um, so here's the thing. We bite the bullet. We, 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 we pinch our noses and we vote for Joe. And immediately after that is done, we pick up where we left off in the progressive movement which was what? Building our progressive movement. Building it. Elaborating on it. And we pick up where we left off. With organizing uh, and just grassroots organization for the coalition we've been building with Senator Sanders for over five years now. Okay? I really feel like this is like the best situation, the best scenario here. I know I have pride. I know you have pride. I know you have your desired uh, candidate. I have my desired candidate. And, and no one likes doing this. I don't like doing it. I know you're not going to like doing it. I'm trying to be very clinical here in, uh, in a, like doing a procedure we have to do, okay? because it's our best chance, as lame as it is. I have no 
doubt that it's lame. It's the 2016 playbook all over again. And as sad as that is, the best shot is to vote for whoever the Democratic nominee is. Oh, as gruesome as it is. Like, trust me, I'm, I'm grinding my teeth on this one. I don't enjoy doing this video. But we're going to have to get to the point where we have to deal with this. We have to deal with the Trump thing, okay? The Trump thing, remember the Trump thing? But like, like, like I'm saying, we can, we can vote for Joe and then immediately get back, pick up where we left off in the progressive movement and continue on. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Don't be afraid to be adversarial. <laughs> let's hash this out. Let's work through this together. Let's cultivate this. Let's carve out uh, the, the, the right thing we need to do. Let's coalesce. Let's really get something going here. All right, like, share, subscribe, click the bell. I'll see you down there.